everybody happy sunday welcome to a new vlog if you are new here welcome to my channel my name is hannah you found me what's up if you are not yet subscribed please hit that subscribe button that notification bell for new videos every sunday and every wednesday um and if you are not new here then welcome back good morning i am dressed ready for church we are finally back to getting to church mom's got her car right so she's on her way to pick me up we're gonna go to church go praise the lord um it's supposed to wear your teams your nfl team colors today so i have on a blue dress i got like a black shawl to put on and then some black boots so i'm dallas cowboys i know black is not one of the colors but i don't have silver so it's okay but yeah y'all welcome back to a new vlog just wanted to say hey get this video started and i wanted to show you how cute i look today because i feel cute um the hair video drops on well it'll drop before y'all see this so but yeah, good morning, happy Sunday, welcome to a new vlog, and let's get this vlog rolling. I am back from church. Church was great per usual. I will put it down in the description per usual. Um, this week's vlog is up. Well, I don't know why I'm telling y'all this because y'all see it by the time y'all see this vlog, so that's the least. But um, I am home. Um, I had to get out of that dress, y'all. That dress was too tight. I can't wear that dress no more. Excuse me. Um eating a little snack drinking a cup of coffee um and then my body is telling me to take a nap but my mind is like pack up the shoes in the closet so i'm either gonna pack up the shoes and then take a nap or take a nap and then pack up the shoes but either way the shoes are getting packed up today um i keep telling y'all i keep feeling like i gotta do something like i have to find something to do i have to have something to do so i went ahead and uh, put my hair up in a bun so after i finish this snack i can go start packing up those shoes because i gotta do something and i can put the clothes in the bag i can put the clothes in the closet in bags because i told y'all i'm not taking them off the hangers i'm just gonna take a big old trash bag put it over the clothes and tie it up period now the clothes in the dresser we've actually decided to not take the dresser so i'm gonna have to fold those clothes up well army roll them and put them in a box hmm i think i have a box big enough but i'm gonna have to army roll them and put them in a box um or i've got some duffel bags left over i might be able to fit them in a couple of duffel bags so that's what i'm gonna do today and then i'm gonna try to not relax this week but i'm gonna try to pace myself this week because i'm starting to feel a little stressed out i feel like i'm running out of time y'all like literally i'm running out of time time is not waiting for me at all like but I keep, every time I try to think of something I can do, I'm like, no, we need that. No, we're going to need that. No, we're going to need that. Like, there's not really much else for me to do. But those clothes in the closet and those shoes in the closet can be put up. And then a lot of these clothes in the drawer can go ahead and be folded up and put in a box. So that is what I'm going to accomplish today. Good afternoon, y'all. So I just made me um, some lunch. I was supposed to eat this for breakfast, but the bacon was frozen. So I ate a PB&J for breakfast. And then made this for lunch. It is a spinach, egg, bacon, and cheese wrap. And then since taco sauce doesn't go with eggs, I'm going to put syrup on it. So um, I just cook the spinach in with the eggs, throw everything together, let the cheese melt, and boom. So I'm about to eat this, watch some YouTube, and it's just going to be a chill kind of day. I did clean the dishes though. Happy Tuesday, by the way. Today is a rest day. Um, I did, like I told y'all, I got up and um, cleaned up the kitchen a little. I cleaned out the sinks, emptied the dishwasher, washing dishes. Um, I made myself, well, I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for breakfast, but I made breakfast for lunch. See, I saw my wraps. They were really good, too. I didn't go that to you. And then I um, just washed them down with some water, but I woke up, my back was a little sore. Like, it doesn't hurt, but it was a little sore this morning. So I just took that as a sign that I need to use today to rest and relax. Everybody keeps telling me, don't overdo it, don't overdo it. So, plus I keep telling y'all, I keep feeling like I need to do something, but every time I try to do something, there's nothing left to do. I did not do that closet yesterday, but it's okay. I have all this week, this weekend and next week to do the closet. And then, you know, through next week, we'll just start packing up everything else as we get closer and closer. But 
Yep, today is a rest day. I might even take a little nap. But I'm just watching YouTube right now, just chilling, relaxing, and digesting because I just ate. So, yeah. But happy Mon Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. I um obviously did not vlog at all yesterday. Um, I was up at 4 o'clock in the morning with heartburn, like serious heartburn. Like I had to sit up and like just take a few deep breaths and sip on some water. Like it was pretty bad. Um, but yesterday when I got up, like I, I was up four o'clock, didn't go back down until almost seven when Khalil left for work. Um, hold on. Um, I didn't get up until almost seven o'clock when Khalil left for work. Um, so I went back to sleep. I woke up at like 10. I woke up at like after 10 o'clock um, and it was still hurting. I had to sit up and there really was nothing I could do about it. So I just sat there and prayed like, Lord Jesus help me. But um, he picked me up three times and my mom told me to get a ginger ale to help remove the gases. So he picked me up a Tums and a ginger ale yesterday. As soon as we got home, I took two of them. And um, it started to fade away. So, doing better with that. But um, I didn't do much while he was gone because of the heartburn. Um, I did do my devotionals and Bible study yesterday, but it was hurting so bad. As soon as I finished, I just had to prop myself up like I was on the couch and just go to sleep. So I slept until he got home. And then when he came home with the medicine, I took the medicine, I felt much better. So, since I was feeling better, I went ahead and bagged up those clothes in the closet and um, packed up our shoes. Y'all, we have two boxes of shoes. And then, well, they're not big boxes, and our shoes are still in boxes. So, I like to keep my shoes in boxes to keep them looking nice and clean. Plus, it makes the closet look more organized. So um, we got two boxes of shoes and then we still have the shoes that we're like wearing around the house and stuff and he's wearing to work. So we're gonna have three boxes of shoes, but that's okay. You know, it is what it is. I tried to consolidate the best I could, but. But yeah, so, um, oh, I also packed up some of the diapers we got were like, packets and then some of the wipes we got were individuals so I took a big box and put all the individual wipes in there and then I opened up some of the small boxes of six and put them in there so we wouldn't have you know all these little single packets or all of these little boxes to take down one at a time or two at a time but instead we've got like a big box of wipes and then the wipes that were in like boxes are still in the closet. But I'm trying to consolidate everything as much as I can so we have as least trips as possible, you know, up and down the stairs, in and out the truck. But y'all, moving day is next week. We move next weekend. Like it's crazy. I move to Florida next weekend. But um, yeah, so today, I don't know what I'm gonna do today because it's kind of everything else is pretty much, you know, last minute packing stuff, stuff that we need until we leave. So I don't know what I'm gonna do today, but um, I am up, I am dressed. Um, I went and put some eggs on the boil. So while my eggs are boiling, I'm just gonna do my skincare, my face care, um, belly care and all that stuff. And um, when they're done boiling, I'm going to go make me some toast, have some toast and eggs for, I think it's still morning, for breakfast. Yeah, because I think it's like maybe 11, almost 11. So have that for breakfast and then do my devotionals while I um, 
well after I eat because I don't want to get anything on my books but yeah I don't really have a set plan for today oh yes I do I need to finish some um paperwork for insurance for Florida and um I need to call that lady from my job's insurance because I filed my taxes and they said something about I need a 1095A and when I looked it up it said something about health insurance. So I'm going to call the lady that does our health insurance. And that's just milk. Getting some calcium in this morning. And um, yeah, that's really all my plan for today is to get some grown up stuff together, fix my taxes so they can be filed. Um, get my insurance for Florida together. Mama found my birth certificate, y'all. I don't know if I told y'all. We were on the hunt for my birth certificate. My mama found it. Y'all, what in the world? So yeah, that's my plan for today. But other than that, I'm just really relaxing until it's time to go. As much as I wanna pack up everything else, there's really nothing else to pack until we go. So there's nothing else for me to pack. Um. So, uh, but, ooh, but y'all, the hard part is I keep feeling like that I need to pack. Like, I keep feeling like there's more I could be doing, that I need to be putting something away, packing something up, that time is, you know, getting closer and closer. And I feel like I'm not doing anything, but there's nothing for me to do because everything that's left, we need. So, yeah. But yeah, I guess this is what nesting is like because I keep feeling like I need to be doing something. I have a friend um, who's got some baby clothes for me. I'm going to go pick those up on Friday from her. Um, I'm going to see if, because she said she's got two big bags of clothes. So. I'm going to see if I can consolidate them in any kind of way. I'm really running out of boxes. I have a couple more in the closet, but they're like medium size, not like big boxes. So, I don't know. We will see what I can back up and consolidate. But, um, that's really the tea. Just trying to... Stay busy, honestly. Oh, um, 27 weeks today. 27 weeks today. 91 more days to go. That's if he stays in until his due date. I told him last night, I told him, I said, if you can't come until 37 weeks or more. I said, but you can't stay too long past 40 weeks. I don't want to be 41 weeks in pregnant. No, sir. You need to be making your ready way on out of there. But um, still have not found a doctor in Florida. We have to go to the health clinic. So we move on Saturday. Of course, they'll close on the weekend. So we'll go to the health clinic on Monday, that very next Monday after we move, which is another reason I needed my birth certificate and stuff. So I go to the health clinic. But hopefully, like, I don't have to just go to the clinic the rest of my pregnancy. Hopefully they can actually find me a doctor so I'm not seeing different people every visit. Cause when I get to Florida, I'll be um I'll be entering my third trimester next Wednesday. And we move on Saturday. So when I get to Florida, I'll be 28 weeks pregnant. And that's why um the doctor's office that I chose, that's why they wouldn't accept me because of how far along I'll be when I get there. First she said they don't do OB transfers. Then she said something about how far along I was going to be. So in my mind, I was like, you know, is it 
because of how far along I'm going to be? Is it because I'm going to be 28 weeks or is it because y'all don't do OB transfers? Like, which one is it? And she couldn't recommend me to another doctor's office. She just told me to go to the health clinic. So hopefully the health clinic can find me a doctor's office instead of me having to go to the health clinic or the hospital every visit. Because when I get there, I'm going to have to start going every two weeks. Every two weeks, I'm going to have to see the doctor. So, but y'all, it's crazy. It's crazy how close we are to being at the finish line. Like, I'm almost 30 weeks. And he's big. And according to the app I've been following, he um he can open his eyes now. And I, I think that's really cool. He can open his eyes now. Um, so, um, I, I did redo my hair. I did my hair, y'all, right? The hair video doesn't come out until next week because I have the, um, the baby shower video. The baby shower haul drops today. So, um, the hair video won't come out until next week. But in the hair video, I mentioned that I thought I would be able to keep these in until my son comes. Y'all know. Mm -mm. As soft as my hair is, I got new growth already. I got new growth already, y'all. I mean, and it doesn't look bad. The braids don't look bad. They look really good. You know, the twists are frizzing up, so I'm just putting some more mousse on them. But... I got new growth already and I just did my hair last week I mean I expected it because that usually happens when I do my hair I always I'm just gonna do the whole braid I always end up with new growth early because my hair is so fine but y'all like the new growth is new growth in. and on top of and it's you know partially my fault because when I braided it, my but again, my hair is so fine. When I braided it, the rubber band slipped down some. And even though when I put the first um, extension of hair in, I pulled the rubber band down to like make sure it was tight. It, as I was braiding, it was sliding down my hair because my hair is, <clears throat> excuse me, because my hair is so slick and so fine. So it's definitely not gonna last until my son comes. I was hoping it would, I might be able to make it last. It just might look crusty, but I was hoping it would last so I wouldn't have to worry about doing my hair at least while I was in the hospital. And then I could probably take it out, you know, a couple weeks after I get out. Probably the week I get out because my mom will be in Florida with me. So I'll have extra help. Cause y'all know we moving in with Khalil's family. So we have his dad, his stepmama, his brother who's been begging me since the day he met me, Fred, niece and nephew. And I don't know. Measy would probably be less interested in his sister. So I know I'm going to have help, but my mom's going to be there too. That first week after he's born. So I'm going to have plenty of help. So I might take it out there and just put some braids in my hair. Wash it, section it like I did for these braids. And then just braid my own hair down like box braids and make it cute. Just so I won't have to worry about doing my hair for a while. Plus, Deborah was telling me about, because I keep talking to her about how full her hair is and how long her hair is and what she does to grow her hair. And um, one thing she does is she puts protective styles in her natural hair. So instead of, you know, using added hair like I did, she'll just braid her hair up, box braid her hair up, or she'll do like a couple of two strand twists down the sides and keep those in for a while. So I'm just gonna, since I'm gonna be home all the time, I'm just gonna start putting my hair in protective styles. And hopefully, you know, with the prenatals and the breastfeeding and all that stuff, hopefully my hair will grow. And then of course I still have this hair growth oil that I've, that hasn't been using, supposed to be using. I gotta put some in now. I haven't put oil in my hair since I did it. But I, like I said, I just did it last week. I just finished it on Friday. So my hair's not even a week old. Um, oh, I guess I won't put no hair growth oil in it. I packed that up already. Oh, well, I'll start doing that next week after we move. 
But yeah, y'all, that's the tea. That's the update. Um, I'm going to get my breakfast and my eggs should be done in about eight minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and make my toast while the eggs finish up. I'm going to do my devotional and then we'll see where I go from there. If I do anything else from there. But hey, y'all, happy Wednesday. I know the blogs have been boring. It's really just, hey, how you doing? This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. Or cleaning videos and stuff like that. But in my defense, I know y'all don't want to see me packing every day, all day. And that's all I've been doing. I've been packing, resting, packing, resting. So, you know, they're going to be boring. But once we move, we're going to be finding some stuff to do. Kalila and I, Kalila said we're going to be doing a lot of walking because we're going to be bored. We're going to be doing a lot of walking. Um, oh, speaking of that, I need to find a video, some kind of prenatal stretching or something. Y'all, when I turn over in the bed, like when I adjust myself, I can feel my back crack. Like, And it's not just like one little crack, you know, it's like, like my bones are grinding or something. So I don't know. Yeah, we about to put this up in a bun because I don't, I don't like how it be tickling down my back. I mean, I ain't going to wear it in a bun all the time, but since I'm working and stuff or plan on finding something to work on, might as well wrap it up in a bun. So bun it up, she goes. I think it was cute in a bun and it's not like heavy. Hold on, that's pulling. That one's pulling. And it's not like heavy, so. Look at that, y'all see that frizz right there already? That's my hair coming out the braid already. That's crazy, not even a week old. And I call myself braiding it tight, but. All right, y'all, let me go make this toast so by the time my eggs are done, I can sit down and eat. Y'all, real quick before I go, I'm so ready to move out of this apartment. I'm so ready to go. Ugh, I done told y'all, this apartment, it's like loud. Like the, the the people walking up and down the stairs, it's, the stairs are literally right behind my bed. You can hear the people walking up and down the stairs. And if they're running, it sounds like thunder rolling past the wall. Like it's ridiculous. And then the people upstairs, they walking all heavy. If I'm in the bathroom, I can hear the phone vibrating in the bathroom. They, I swear they're vampires. They be up all night walking stomping dropping stuff loud like they don't live on the third floor y'all like oh my goodness i'm ready to leave these apartments i'm ready to leave these apartments you can hear people talking in the parking lot like they can be regular talking like on the phone talking you can hear people talking in the parking lot y'all it's ridiculous i'm ready to go 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 it's ridiculous but all right let me go make this breakfast All right, y'all, breakfast secured. Just made me two eggs, cut them down the middle, salt, pepper, some toast with a little bit of jelly. Now, what I find funny about myself, y'all, is I told y'all peanut butter and jelly is my new pregnancy kit. But when I make my PB&J, like, I feel like if the jelly's not leaking out of the sandwich, it's not enough jelly. But with my toast, I feel like I only needed a little bit to cover the top like it shouldn't be falling off the edges call me weird call me crazy but it's just how my brain works but i'm about to eat this um and then while i let this digest i'm going to find a either stretching video or like small workout video to do because um i really don't even have room to do it considering i'm packing i got boxes in here and stuff but I'm going to at least find something to stretch because I told y'all my back has been cracking. And um, I need to do it. I need to do something. Mom's been telling me since I got pregnant, stretch, stretch. Have you been stretching? Mm, 27 weeks later, no, I have not been stretching. Y'all, don't let me forget. I got to go take my little video. I got to take my pictures and stuff. I can't forget to take my pictures. But um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat, go take my pictures, let this digest. And while it's digesting, I'm going um, to find a little stretch or workout video to do and then we'll see where else the day goes from there week 27 he and they're kicking now so i decided to do my nails right after 
being on the phone for like 20 minutes getting that stuff figured out for my taxes and whatever i got it figured out by the way um i decided to redo my nails so like first of all they were stressing me out so while i was doing it i was popping off my nails from why do i always decide to wear black when i do my nails um i was popping off my nails from the gender reveal i mean it's been two weeks anyway so i was ready for a new style or whatever so um at first i was just gonna because my nails have grown really good at first i was just gonna um put a clear coat of gel polish or whatever on top of my natural nail but then i was like mm, i want to put on some more press-ons like i've been doing these press-on things for like a couple weeks or a few weeks now and i've been like back to back to back with it and my nails have been growing really good so i was gonna do this set right but when I put the top coat on it to like keep it looking pretty and make it look shinier, um, it's been peeling off. So I was like, okay, maybe I need to like rough up the surface. So I took my buffer and I did a practice nail on one of the ones I wasn't gonna use. And I was like, okay, you know, nothing happened. But then I went to do like the ones on my hand and the paint starts peeling off. The paint started peeling off. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to buff all the paint off. So I buffed all the paint off my nail and I'm just gonna put a top coat on it. So it's like a nude pinkish color. So it's just gonna be like nude pinkish, nude pinkish nails. And that's just gonna be my nails for the next couple of weeks. So um, that's what I decided to do. So I'm watching one of um, from Kenna's old vlogs and um, Mr. Man is in there moving around like he is dancing or something in there. He's feeling good about himself today. He's moving around a lot, but um, I'm just buffing all this off, filing the shape to make sure, you know, it stays nice and rounded at the top, making sure the sides are straight. I'm trying to get off all of the shine. So when I put the top coat on there, it'll stick instead of peeling off. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like when I am done. Of course, I got air bubbles. I don't know why I'm getting air bubbles. I don't know if it's because I'm putting on too much. Because when I get the air bubbles, it's like pushing out on the sides. So I don't know if I'm putting too much and it's just pushing straight out, out the nail. Or if I'm not putting enough. But you know, if I wasn't putting enough, why would it be pushing out the side of the nail? So I don't know. I don't get it. But I definitely have some air bubbles. Like, was it this one? This one's probably going to come off. And I'm probably going to have to reapply it. Because it's got a big bubble in it. And I think some of it's like towards like my natural nail. So, yeah. But, yeah. That's what I'm doing right now. It is 3.11, Khalil should be off soon. He should be home in about, um, about 40 minutes or so. I mean, yeah, probably about there. Well, no, he's gonna have to stop by the store, so he'll be home about four o'clock. Four o'clock-ish, depending on traffic, might be closer to 4.30. But, um, yeah, that's that. I might need a new buffer. Good morning, y'all. Actually, good afternoon, y'all. It's almost one o'clock. Um, happy Thursday. I've been up for a while, actually. I got up, I was up when Khalil left this morning. Um, I think I went back to sleep around 7.30-ish. Was woken up by a phone call at 9.30. Um, and I've been up ever since. I got up, made myself some breakfast. Ate my breakfast, spent some time with mom for a little minute. Um, and I've just been going around the apartment Finding stuff to pack up, digging through drawers, looking for something to pack up. Um, and I've packed up some stuff that we are going to need. So I'll just pack it up and we'll, we'll get it out when we need it and put it back. Because at this point, I just feel like I got to get this stuff. I got to get stuff put away. So that's what I've been doing. But um, my back just started to hurt. So I took that as a sign to sit my butt down. So I'm about to um, dibble dabble in my little pregnancy journal, read my devotionals, do my Bible study, write some cards. Um, 
I plugged up our battery packs for the trip because it's a seven hour trip. So I plugged up, plugged up our battery packs. I plugged up my light for the trip. Um, I'm gonna plug up our speaker. I got um, a crossword book that I found. I put that in a bag. Mom brought me a Sudoku book for the roads. So I put that in a bag. And um, I'm really just trying to get whatever I can get ready, ready. So, cause I feel like I have to be doing something. Like I feel like I have to be doing something. But um, that's really it y'all. I've just been trying to be productive today. Trying to get some stuff done. Cause I, I feel like I have to get it done. I cannot sit down. Oh, I didn't show y'all the nails yesterday. So here are the finished product of the nails. And don't cover my ashy hands. I just, um, I just washed them. But yeah. Sorry, hold on, I'm writing. I can't write and think at the same time. That's really it, y'all. I just wanted to come in and say good morning, happy Thursday. I didn't want to go another day without vlogging. So, um, if I get up again and do something else, I will let y'all know. But I think I'm done for the day. I rebagged the clothes in the closet because I put the bag up over the clothes and it fell off. So Khalil told me to punch a hole at the bottom of the bag and put them in like through the top and let the the open part hang at the bottom. So that's what I did. I did that this morning, packed up our cleaning supplies. So when it's time for us to clean next week, we'll just pull it out of the box, clean and put it back. Um, I packed up my little stuffed animals from over in the corner, my little gorilla and stuff. I packed them up, I put them in a the bag. I went ahead and packed up the shoes we're still wearing. So if we need them, we'll pull them out, wear them and then put them back. I just, I had to find stuff. To, I just had to find something to pack up. So I've been putting stuff up and things and that here and there. Pulled some pictures off the wall. Oh, I could get those off the wall too. I got two more to get off the wall. But um, yeah, I'm just pulling stuff from here and pulling stuff from there. So yeah, that's really it. Happy Thursday. And I will see y'all later when or if I do anything else later. All right, guys, we're in the Target. And of course, when you come to Target, you can't come to Target without coming to the book section. So we're in the book section. But I found these in the dollar section. It's three for five. And then this one doesn't have a sticker on it. So I really want this one. I hope they'll sell it to me even though it doesn't have a sticker. I didn't see one like it, so we'll see what happens. We're in the book section. One day I'm gonna grow up and start reading books. And start re reading serieses, serieses. I'm gonna have to give me a good library card though because I don't wanna start buying 18, $20 books and I'm only gonna read it one time. What? I wear my once. And then they sit on a shelf. Yeah, but I keep them because it's like a reward. The dare, the play, the risk. Okay, so like, the chase, the legacy, the goal. You know when you get goal. an award for doing something great? Yes. Putting the book on my bookshelf is the reward. Twisted Lies, Twisted Hate. I want, I think I want Shadow and Bone. And I want The Six of Crows. Because I watched Shadow and Bone on Netflix. But I felt like they left some things out. And it really made me feel like I needed the extra details. And I was hoping it was based on a book. And the wow, The Lord of the Rings is thick. Look at it. That's a beautiful copy right there. It's $52. Whoa. If it's $8 and it's 20% off. I don't know if I'm going to get it. I really want both of them. I really want these, but I really want this one too because of the handle. I don't know if I'm going to get one. I wanted a book yesterday. Most of the time we did. Yeah. So it just seems like we were with her. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. Um, it's been a busy one. We got up early this morning. We went to breakfast with my aunt and my uncle. Um, and then right after breakfast, it was moving time. We picked up Brandy's truck. We packed it up. Well, they packed it up. And now they're unpacking it and getting her moved into her new spot. So moving day part one, let me take her a little nappy nap. But um, I got a package that I didn't know about. It's from it's from Aeroflow. I don't know what that is. It sounds familiar, but I don't know what that is. So I'm about to open it 
and see what it is. I think I know what it is, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna open it and then show y'all what I got. And then um, I have like a mini haul at the house of the stuff that I got from Target last night, but it's been a long day, so I haven't been able to push pause to go do that. But um, I will show y'all what I got from Target last night whenever I make it back home. So, yep. Y'all look at this job. Now she was just in the back seat crying. Pull her out the back seat and now she knocked out. Let me open this package and show y'all what we got. Y'all, I'm trying to do this with a baby in my hand. Oh yeah, this is exactly what I thought it was. My belly band. My insurance got this for me. I didn't even think I was gonna get it. Yeah, my insurance got it for me. So let me open it. Y'all know I was gifted one in my baby shower. Let me open this up. All right, y'all, here it is. Um, y'all know this is my first time being pregnant, so I don't know exactly how this works, but I think this is the back part. And then it's got two straps on it. Yeah, it's got double straps on it. Yeah, this is the front part right here. I think. <laughs> I think, yeah. And then it's got this back part back here. This is a medium. I might have to actually like really, really stretch this like, not like stretch it, but can y'all see? Cause I'm looking at it and not paying attention to the camera. So the front part right here goes on my belly and then like it straps around and I tighten it up and it holds my belly up, which is great. Cause I keep telling this man, this baby heavy. This baby heavy. I can't wait to get home and try this on. Cause I can't put it on right now. I got lamb in my lap. But I'm glad I got that. Cause I'm gonna need it this week while we finish packing up. But um, Brandy's neighbor downstairs under her, right? She just said, cause the stairway is narrow. The stairway for her apartment is narrow as crap. They already got the love seat up, but like they literally had like to squeeze it up there. She said that the last people had to go on the balcony and they they took the stuff from downstairs and put it up through the balcony. So that might be what they have to do. Like the couch will go up there because the love seat went up. They're the same size. If they can get those two up, then yeah. But I'm watching them try to get her bed frame up. I don't know if that's going to go. Because it's tight. It's short and it's thin. But at least that's light. Like, they can really get that. Somebody be downstairs, somebody be upstairs, and you just kind of, you know, loop it up there. And then two people upstairs can just pull it up, up the balcony. Yeah, that's going to have to go up the balcony. They could put it over the balcony. At least it's light. Nope, they're going to take it apart. They're going to take it apart at the middle and take it up in two pieces. But um, that table I had in my living room, I don't know how they're going to get that up the stairs because that's not going to come apart. And I think like from top, you know, from the top of the table to the bottom of the feet, it might be too wide to go up there. But she got a nice apartment, y'all. It's pretty. Lamb got her own room. Brandy got her own room. They both got their own bathroom. It's nice. But yeah, y'all, I just wanted to update y'all on today. Um, I will. I'll get back to y'all later. I'm going to try not to forget to do the haul because I want to show y'all the containers I got. So, yeah. But that's it. I'm just going to watch them try to figure all this mess out. Because I can't do nothing. Y'all know I'm pregnant. I can't do nothing. I got fussed there for lifting lift light stuff. So, I'm just going to sit in the car and hold and me and be cute. Y'all, we done been out here like 10, 15 minutes and sound like people out here beefing already. I'm scared. All 
All right, y'all, I'll catch y'all later when we done moving stuff in. Okay, y'all, I got it going. I was wrong about which way it goes. It goes this way, but I got it going. I need to tighten it up a little bit, but it feels good. But um, we got Brandy stuff in here. Well, they got Brandy stuff in here. So while they're taking the truck back and um, grabbing a couple more things from my apartment, I'm just gonna start, um, I'm just gonna start putting stuff up the blinds because it's getting dark lamb is asleep on the couch um i gotta call her and see if they left the allen ranch Ugh. i gotta call her and see if they left the allen ranch here even though i doubt it it's probably in somebody's pocket but um if they left the allen ranch then i'm just gonna start putting up her bed but if not I'm just gonna start putting stuff up you know wherever I'm at and then just you know work my way around but I'm just like literally in nest mode and since I can't nest my own stuff because I'm packing it up I'm gonna do her stuff <laughs> so yeah definitely got to get her some lamps for the living room because there's no light in the living room but there is one in the kitchen she got a nice size kitchen too kitchen living room that's a closet um that right there i believe is the um water heater and stuff that's a balcony that's her laundry room slash pantry this here is like a this closet has shelves in it if you can see them in there lamb's bathroom lammy's room and then brandy's room and then that's her closet and her bathroom right here so they got a nice size space i'm very proud of her I'm very happy for her, for the both of them. So I'm about to just start moving stuff around. I'm going to call her, tell her to bring my broom. And, um, yep. And I'm just going to start pit a paddling through her stuff. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the update. Um, I don't have my tripod, so I can't put y'all up while I dibble dabble in her stuff. So I'm just going to listen to music and move stuff around while Lamb sleeps. So, I just want to show y'all I got my belly band on, but that's it. Happy Monday. Yes, it is Monday. Um, the vlog did not go up yesterday. There has been a lot going on. Um, Brandy moved out on Saturday. Friday I went and I got my driver's license. Yes, guys, I went and took my test for the third time on Friday. I didn't say anything because I didn't want to say nothing. And so y'all, I woke up that morning. I did my devotional. I did my Bible study. I prayed. I prayed, I prayed, I went, I took that test, y'all. She said, congratulations. I said, what? I, I did? So I passed the test. Deborah and I did some shopping. That's what all this stuff is. We did some shopping on um, Friday. Then I went back out yesterday. Not yesterday. Yep, yesterday I did some shopping. Um, so I'll, but that stuff we're going to do in this week's vlog so not last week's vlog which is supposed to have been up yesterday but the vlog that i'm supposed to have started yesterday that i'm gonna start today after i finish this video but i'm going to unpack the stuff that i got on friday show you guys the things that i got on friday um and that's it i was just supposed to record this haul on friday but i got kidnapped for um dinner so i spent friday with deborah we went shopping spent some time at her house we went and got mom from work early they kidnapped me took me to dinner Brittany went and got her keys friday was busy saturday was busy it was it's just it was a lot okay but we're gonna go ahead and jump into this haul the haul of it all y'all and then that's gonna be the end of this video so let's see what i got so the first i really went in there i did not go in target to buy anything on friday the girl wanted to walk around target we always walk around target she wanted to go look at the books that's what we were supposed to be doing the first thing i saw when i went in there y'all know they have that five dollar section let me put this back they got that five dollar section over in the corner when you first walk in so i was like let me just go look and the first thing i saw was like a bunch they had like these felt looking crates and then they had these there's three of them, two little ones, and then one big one for $5. So I was like, let me just, let me just grab it and ponder on it. I was like, let me just get it and ponder on it. So um, I wasn't going to get a cart. I was just going to carry it. The board was like, get a cart. You don't want to just carry it around. Just get a cart. And I was like, oh, cart means more stuff. It's going to make me want to get more stuff. 
I was like, what if I just get a buggy? She said, you'll still be carrying it. Just get a cart. I was like, oh boy. Okay, so let me get a cart. So I went and I got the cart. Hold on. Okay, so, sorry. Um, so I got these, it came with two of these. So I don't know what I'm gonna put in either one of them, but I know we're gonna need storage. So I got this, it's got these two, and it's got the big one. So I'm gonna use those. These are for um, baby boy stuff. I just don't know what we're gonna put in it yet, but I know we're gonna need it. So I got that. Then I saw this one. Now the interesting thing about this one is I only saw one and it doesn't have a price tag on it. It didn't have like a sticker on it or anything. It was just, but I love I loved it because the handle's collapsible and it's got a divider in the middle. So I was thinking like diapers, if wipes, maybe if diapers and wipes will fit on like, I might test it out to see. Diapers on one side, wipes on the other for the fit and like bum cream or whatever else we'll need for like, so I can just grab it and take it downstairs or take it, you know, to another part of the house. So I'm not, you know, carrying a bunch of stuff under my arms and then got to go back and get him or whatever. So I really wanted this one, but it didn't have a price tag on it. I was scared they weren't going to give it to me. I was going to put it down. I had took it out of the car and the world was like, what are you doing? I said, I'm just going to put it down. Um, she was like, why? I said, it doesn't have a price tag on it. Like, they're not going to let me get it. What they don't let me get it, blah, blah, blah. So I was just going to put it down. She's like, no, just, you know, ask him and see. I took it up to the front. The lady that we had, she gave it to me for free. So God is good. I got what I wanted. And um, then I was, we were at the books and I saw this. Like two, three aisles down, I saw this big old crate, right? And I was like, oh, I want to go look at that. But I was like, I know that thing is every bit of five, six, seven dollars. Y'all, this thing was originally $8, but it was on clearance for $3.92. So I got it. It's got like this big part right here. It's got this detachable. Hold on. Where is the... It's got this removable piece right here with a handle on it. Like that. And it's got these two pieces right here, right? So when I picked it up, I was thinking bathroom caddy because we our bathroom's not in our room. So we have to take our stuff to the bathroom and then take it back out. So I was like bathroom caddy or diaper caddy. So if this doesn't work out as the diaper caddy, then I'm just gonna use this as a diaper caddy. But I went, we went to Target on Friday and I only got these three items on Friday. I went back on was it was it Saturday no I went back out again on Friday went back out Friday night so I got all this stuff um Friday afternoon when DeBoer and I went and they had that one I can't remember if I saw another one or not I don't remember but when I went back out Friday night I went to see if I could get another one I couldn't find one, but when we went back Friday night, I went to Walmart and I went to Target. I got some nipple cream because I will be breastfeeding. So I got some nipple cream. Um, I got this Baby Ganics laundry detergent. It's, um, if y'all have heard of the Yucca app, it ranked, well, I don't know if it was the detergent or not, but I know I checked a Baby Ganics product and it ranked a hundred out of a hundred and um, it's fragrance free. It does 60 loads, but my thing about it was the fact that it's fragrance free and you know, um, no allergenics, stuff like that. But the thing about this for me was I have sensitive skin, Kahlua has sensitive skin. If we use the wrong thing, we're going to break out. And I don't want that to happen to our son, you know, not knowing how his skin is going to be because you know, it's going to be trial and error. So I just went ahead and I got this. So all of his new clothes that he has, all the clothes that we've been gifted, donated, that I purchased, because I went and purchased some clothes yesterday. Um, all of that stuff is going to be washed in this. So when we get to Florida and get our room straight and get comfortable, I'm going to start washing his clothes. I'm going to start washing his bottles. Um, now, washing his bottles. I could not find a Baby Gannix bottle cleaner. They have it on Amazon, but I had cash and I was at Target. So um, I got the drift bottle and dish soap but it's plant-based ingredients no dyes and once again fragrance free so i'm okay with using this one because it doesn't have a fragrance in it so i will use this to wash his bottles when we get there 
Oh, I can use it for his pacifiers too. Bottle sippy cups, pacifiers, pump parts, the whole family's dishes. So yeah, I can use this for all of his stuff. So when we get there, um, I'm gonna organize our stuff. Once I get our stuff organized, I'm gonna start putting his side of the room together. I'm going to wash his clothes. Now, I, I wanna wash all of them, but I probably won't wash all of his clothes, but we'll see. But I'll wash his clothes, um, wash his bottles and stuff, and then organize all that stuff because I am in full nest mode, but I can't nest because I'm packing and it's sending me just a little bit. But, um, so that's what I got from Target on Friday. And then we went to Walmart. I didn't find too much in Walmart, but I did. I had a lady like call me out. She's like, I don't know what you're having, but they have this on clearance for a dollar. Y'all, it's so cute. It's a blanket and a hat. And it's got like pancakes, eggs, blueberries, waffles, bacon on it. So I thought this would be really cute. So I told Khalil, I said, this is what we're taking to the hospital. We're going to wrap him in this and take his pictures. Because it's so cute and it's got a little hat to go with it. So, you know, couldn't pass that up for a dollar. Couldn't pass that up. So I went ahead and got that. And then, um, I know I told y'all he don't need no more blankets. But that one was really cute. Couldn't pass it up for a dollar. And then I got two packs of three onesies so i got some newborn just t-shirts because we don't really have any we have t-shirts but all the t-shirts we got were three to six months and i think some of them were like nine so i went ahead and got one pack of newborns and one pack of zero to three Khalil is convinced he might not wear newborns and if he does wear them he won't wear them for long which is okay because babies don't usually wear them that long anyway but I just, I wanted him to have some new one t-shirts. Because you know, it's not going to be every day that we put him in an outfit. In fact, I'm probably only going to pack one outfit in his hospital bag. And that's the outfit we're going to take him home in. But um, my mommy's going to be there, guys. Oh, and then I did show you guys. I don't have it on today. But I did show you guys my new belly band that I got. It's very comfortable. I did have to tighten it a little bit. Um, So now it's got like a weird little gap in it. But... It's very comfortable. It's easy to put on. Not as easy as my other one, but it's easy to put on. I like it. Um, it's got like these bars back here, like inside. So I definitely feel like my back is supported, but yeah. So that's it. That's all I got Friday. And then the stuff I got yesterday will be in the vlog I'm about to start after I close out this one. But that is the end of this vlog. I thank you guys for watching. I'm so sorry it was late, so I thank you guys for being patient. I love you guys. If you watched all the way up to this point, leave me a comment, leave me a like. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. I can lose when I'm with you. How can us lose and miss the moment you just